evening. Good evening. What a wonderful time it is to be present in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. It is Tuesday again, time for the Bible study of the week. Yes, and we have been studying about the doctrine of God and what a wonderful time we have been having. Amen. 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 Hello to everyone that's out there in what I call cyberspace land mm -hmm. and those that are here on the conference call. We are going to be reading from Psalms 128 on today. Psalms 128. How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. May the Lord continue to bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. Amen. I have read for you in its entirety Psalms 128. Will we please prepare our hearts for approaching the throne of grace? Our gracious and most heavenly Father, we give you thanks for truly today, God. We are very grateful for our lives. So many of us, Father, have been struggling with mm -hmm. the things that are in the air, Lord God, the viruses, and we are able to sit before you today because we want to be able to love on you, mm -hmm. be able to grow in you, and be able to receive from you the things that you have for us. So, Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for healing our bodies, for keeping our minds and our spirit alive and well. For truly, Lord God, there is no one like you, and we know that, and we want you to know that we love you and we honor you. Yes. And Lord, as we partake of this Bible study, to continue to learn more about who you are and where you're taking us and how grateful we are to who you are and what you are and where you will always be, which is our Father. And Lord, we're grateful, we thank you, and we bless you. And Lord, as a man of God, brings the word of God. May everyone that is present here today in the airways and on this phone receive from you as never before and give him the strength that is necessary to bring your word and his truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Super Trooper Deaconess Mary Sanders. How are you doing today, bitch? You better, boy, because you recovered good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. but now I'm better. Down. It seems like everything is getting a little better. Yeah. That's the way mine felt. Voice coming and going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Deaconess was scarfed up like the mummy on Sunday. <laughs> but she was in here Amen. worshiping God. Yes, Amen. Come in here today, look like a whole new person. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. How's everybody? Good. 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 <laughs> that is awesome. So good to see everybody. You know, in this place, it just, it, it looks funny how um, we got stuff everywhere in this room, but it is so bright in here. Nice, good. nice paint job, mm -hmm. and um, it really looks good in here. I can't wait yeah. to see the finished product. We got floral arrangements being made and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, looks really good, y'all. So, we're thankful. Um, for everybody, we thank God for Minister Audrey, mm -hmm. who last week um, took the reins. And um, when I got a call from from another bishop, um, Bishop Dorsey, 
in um, Alabama, and he told me how good of a job she did. Yes, sir. So he told me that. So <laughs> I was like, okay, that's good then. Um, but I was, you know, confident totally. I didn't even listen. I, I watched maybe a minute and went on went to sleep. You know, so I'm thankful um, that we do have, we can continue on, and that's the whole, you know, idea about growth is that we can continue to move when we need to move. Amen. 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 I'm thankful for Elder uh, Frederica Linden uh, for always being on point and for always being um, uh, well yeah, on point. Yeah, yeah, and she she's always there. See, that's the kind of stuff I be talking about, y'all. Um, as I talk about faithfulness, um, you know, um, she has proved herself faithful. Um, as um, oh Lord, talk about faithful. Deacon Fred walks in here with a bag looks like some public chicken or something. <laughs> so you want to talk about faithful. Um, you know I ain't ate yet. So, <laughs> so you you might want to watch out, brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but, um, you know, she's always on point and she's always on her post. Let me put it that way. Um, as she is right now. I want to thank all of you for uh, your faithfulness and always being on point and on your post. We could do better though, right? Amen. Amen, y'all. But I, I want to thank you all uh, for what you do. And I want to thank First Lady. Uh, she's up here when ain't nobody up here. And she, and she don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she is. And um, one one thing is for sure, every last one of y'all in y'all's house got y'all's touch in it, right, ladies? Yes, sir. It has, it has, and it should, right? No other woman from the outside should come in there, and 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 your house smell like them. I thought I, I thought I heard some real people. Y'all know y'all have a problem with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to look like, but to smell like them? No, oh, Lord. No, no. <laughs> yeah, me either, D, but I, 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 all I know is that ain't good. You know, so this place should have her fingerprints in it, and it does. Um, the good thing about it, she do know what she's doing, so <laughs> that's a plus. Um, so I want to thank y'all for um, being such faithful people. Okay, let me just put it this way and see if anybody can remember this and nobody throw something at me. Thank you all for being fat people. Oh, amen. 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 I got to go there with that fat people. There you go. Yes. Amen. So if any of you all that is watching on live stream don't know what that means, just ask me and I'll tell you. It's a real good thing. It is. Amen. Amen. Um, we thank um, First Lady Sharnice Johnson um, who is watching us right now. That's another fat person. Amen. Amen. Lady Sharnice, I know you don't know what that means, but it's a good thing. <laughs> Amen. So uh, we thank God for you and, and your, fa your, your family, uh, Pastor Kenny, for coming up and uh, doing the tops. He, he got the Lady C, he got to put another coat up there, but he did good. So I think he knew that. That's why he left the tape up there. But, um, but we thank God for it. It, Amen. it, it, is, it is really awesome. Yeah. So y'all listen, y'all know how I am. Um, Minister Audrey did an admirable, admirable, admirable job on last week. Yeah. But I still got to hear. Yeah. Hey baby, how you doing? <laughs> she said we're coming back Wednesday. Okay, all right. See, I knew we knew they was right. <laughs> you know, so thank y'all um, so much. <laughs> But um, y'all, y'all know it's some it's some stuff that Minister Audrey may not hit that I would. But I still you know, love the job that she did, and I'm very confident in her. And I won't worry about it when I'm not here. I know she's gonna knock it out. All right. 
So um, let's go back just like we left off on what she hit, you will get more from me. Is, is, is that okay, everybody? Mm -hmm. So um, as we go into um, our, our study of the doctrine of God, um, and, and as usual, I like to explain as we go and what we do. Um, um, second to the last paragraph. Although we cannot fully understand God, we still can know him. We know him through a personal relationship of faith and through a study of what the Bible teaches about his nature. God may be described in terms of attributes. An attribute is an inherent characteristic of a person or being. While we cannot describe God in a comprehensive way, we can learn about him by examining his attributes as revealed in the Bible. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to be repetitious here for just a minute, but y'all going y'all gonna get to the point. We, it, it's been too long that the church has not known God, but yet come to worship what they don't know. Amen. Y'all, yeah, y'all, not okay. Y'all tell me. Sister Phyllis will tell you that when I asked a question, um, it bothered her. Then the question was, tell me about God. Mm. Now, honestly, y'all tell me. You may can tell me something now. But back then, could you all tell me? Could you all tell me about God? Mm -mm. No, sir. sir. And it made me sad. Yes. Mm -hmm. Made me very sad. Did y'all hear what she said? She said it made her sad. Well, I experienced that same thing when mm -hmm. Pastor Ronald Sutton, who, who pastors Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church in Crystal River, Florida, mm -hmm. who was the assistant pastor at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Institutional Church in Orlando. And I was a licentiate. Um, getting ready to be licensed into the ministry had been teaching Bible study and have been director of Christian education and in, 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 um, okay y'all anybody who knows me knows I'm in Bible study right now so mm -hmm. don't be hitting me up alright so um, so Bishop Errol G. Thompson Sr., who was the pastor then, he wasn't bishop then, uh, took the first leg of training us, and we went through a year of training. That's another thing why we don't know God. You get some, you get, and look, y'all, um, I'm talking for a minute here because I think we need to hear the truth. Um, I saw a guy got saved one month and was licensed into the ministry four months later. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that picture. Mm -hmm. How are you, how you going to get saved now? I even question the salvation. Mm -hmm. yes, um, so he got saved one minute and four months later was licensed. Whoever did that should be ashamed of themselves. Mm -hmm. I was uh, called into the ministry three weeks before I was to be ordained as a deacon. And it scared me to death. But yet it took me seven years before I even took one license in class. So I was a deacon for seven years. And every time I thought I was ready, I found out I wasn't. And I was like, ugh. Every time God showed me, no, you ain't ready yet, son. And um, and I, I I humbly backed up. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying. So Thompson wasn't gonna do it anyway. Um, but that's the problem with with um with the church today is is that 
we have no knowledge of God. We have an idea of God, but not according to knowledge. Amen. And uh, Reverend um, Pastor Ronald Sutton asked me that same question that I asked you all. And I ran from that man for about two weeks before he caught me. <laughs> I ran. I hid. I did everything I could. And it's like every time I turned a corner in the church, he was standing there. And I'm like, Because <laughs> I knew he was going to ask me. And he wasn't going to let it go. And I'm like, Arr. You know, so he, he did that. But I'm, I'm thankful to him to this very day for that very question. Because he could have asked me anything mm -hmm. biblical. Mm -hmm. I think y'all missed that. He could have asked me anything mm -hmm. biblical and I would have answered it. Yes, sir. I said biblical. Mm -hmm. But he asked me a personal question. Yes. And I couldn't answer it. And I was like, Lord have mercy. Are y'all, if, if somebody asks you to describe God biblically, you would sling a verse out in a heartbeat, right? Mm -hmm. But to ask a question personally, what do you say? So we have to look at ourselves in, um, in the person of God, all right? So, as I get to the attributes, the first group um, is known as the natural attributes of God. We never finished it, and um, I think we got to God is all-knowing. Am I correct? Last time I was up, right? God, and we got two more, which is God is everywhere and God is eternal. So, we'll hit the last two, but let's run through them and let us look at the first group the natural attributes of God amen mm -hmm. okay so as we run through them um, we may have to uh, turn the volume down on that phone it's down. huh it's down. it is down okay maybe I know leave it alone I, maybe I should turn this one down because um, I think it's me <laughs> I think it's me with it right up on me. Um, uh, conference call, can y'all still hear me okay? Yes. Okay, good. That's what it was. It was me. All right. So as we talk about uh, the first group, the natural attributes of God, <clears throat> let's, let's look and see where we stand up compared to God. And I've done this before, and all of us were in all that. Um, we ain't got none of that. Can I, can I get country? <laughs> we, we ain't got none of this. All right? And we'll pick up on the last two. All right? Amen. God is spirit. Amen. We are what? Flesh. Flesh. There you go. God is changeless. He doesn't change. We change, change like the wind. Change, change like the wind. <laughs> God is all powerful. We do not have We do not. <laughs> right. God is all knowing. He knows everything. Yes, sir. Us no, no, no. we don't even know him. Right, everybody. Yeah. We don't even know him. God is everywhere. We in this room. That's where this is going. Right? Unless we leave out somewhere else. I'm telling you. Don't you wish you was the, like the Trinity? Yes. Y'all, I, I have come to uh, the realization that I need to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. And I have always put everybody and everything else before me. Been you yeah, y'all been telling me. Y'all been telling me. I I, I understand y'all y'all yep y'all have good, but then the same ones telling me that is the ones making me do everything. Uh, <laughs> I ain't talking about all of y'all. If uh, you fit where, if it don't, leave it in the stove. 
Am I right, y'all? Y'all don't y'all know if it ain't you, don't even worry about it. I ain't talk about you. Nigga boy said he gave you a whole half of the head. Nigga boy said he gave you a whole half of the head. But the, the thing is, um, I realize how limited I am. While God has all power, Amen. I'm, I'm, I, I, I do have, I do have some, but that what I have is conditional upon Him. Mm -hmm. um, he gives it to me, mm -hmm. and and y'all, let me tell y'all something: power ain't nothing to play with. No. Everybody cannot handle it. That's right. Because right. right. mm -hmm. it. it'll kill you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just here to tell y'all that. Yes, It'll kill you. Um, it, it will. You, you, you can't handle that. And I'm going to go back again to Genesis chapter 3 when Satan tempted Eve and, and now she knows some things and now her and Adam know some things that they shouldn't know. Um, Satan, Satan told her, you, God knows you're going to know what he knows. Yeah, but what he didn't say was you ain't gonna be able to handle it. Amen. You ain't gonna be able to handle that kind of knowledge. So I don't want it. I don't want to know everything. I don't want to have all power because I can't handle it. Mm -hmm. Only God can handle that. You know what I'm saying? So, so when it comes down to you know what, man, you need to take care of yourself. I'm like, okay. Um, I feel you on that, God. I, I I get you. I understand. I wasn't thinking that I can't I can't do everything. I wasn't thinking that. All I was thinking of is this is what needs to be done. That's that's my thought process. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't have the um, the mentality of oh I, I'm I, I heard a pastor say one time, man, I got the you know the, the mentality that if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. And I was like. You're going to do everything then. Okay. And as long as you got that attitude, people will let you do everything. Everything, sure will. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good afternoon, Bishop Dorsey. Good to have you with us again, sir. I, I talked about you at the beginning. So um, thank God for you. It's always good to see you um, in Bible study. Um, but, you know, and I was like, and I said to myself, boy, I, I'm, I'm, I want to know how long it's going to take before we change this tune. And, and and realize you you can't do everything yourself, mm -hmm. and 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 that had the makings of a micromanager right there. Cause if I give y'all something, I'm turning my back on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now if I don't see it done, I'm gonna come back and ask yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna let you slide with it, but I'm gonna come back. Hey, you know what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And you got to give me an answer, cause I know you ain't did it. Yeah. So don't sit up here and tell me you did when I know you didn't. All right. So. Um, I, I, I realize I realize how much I need God um, and in these natural attributes God is spirit we are flesh God is changeless we change like the wind God is all powerful uh, we are limited Amen. God is all knowing we, we need him every day that's why we pray every day because well, we need him every day now let's go to uh, the um, um, omnipresence of God God is everywhere Everywhere, you know, y'all listen to this. Satan is not omnipresent. Mm -hmm. He got a third of the angels that he dispatches all over the place because he can't do it himself. Yep. But he, yet he wants to be like God. Boy, you ain't you, you ain't God. All right. So um, God is not confined to any part of the universe, but is present in all his power at every point in space and every moment in time, Jesus Christ. I um, I think I saved it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Y'all listen to this. Get out of the way. Watch this, y'all, from A.W. Uh, Towser. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready?
God dwells in his creation and is everywhere indivisibly present in all his works. Mm. He is transcendent above all his works even while he is imminent within them. Mm. Mm. Can we say it again? Mm. Yes. This is A.W. Towser who said this. This is somebody who has um, a growing knowledge of God, evidently. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it again. God dwells in his creation. Mm -hmm. And you all can see the earth there with the mountains and all mm -hmm. that. So God dwells in his creation. Y'all with me? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Okay. He dwells here mm -hmm. and is everywhere indivisibly. He dwells in his creation and is everywhere indivisibly. He's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got to break it down. God dwells in his creation and is everywhere indivisibly present. Is everywhere indivisibly present in all his works. Hmm. Right? right? He is transcendent. He's far above. Mm -hmm. He is transcendent above all his works. Mm. Even while he is imminent within them. Mm -hmm. Or present within them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. He, he, he. He's on the porch with Deacon S. LeVon Gray Williams at yeah. 6 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watching the turkeys <laughs> gobble through the yard. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while he's there in his works, there he's with me and I'm sleeping. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's even with you that's doing wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you're getting away with it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is God. Amen. He's everywhere. Amen. All right. So let's go biblical because uh, uh, Bishop Dorsey, I have said this uh, before, that if, if someone asked us biblically about God, we could tell them. Or if someone asked us a question about God biblically, we could answer. Because, man, because um, I've been a student of the word for years. And if you ask me something biblically, I can answer it. Mm -hmm. But there came a time when somebody asked me about God personally, and I could not answer. Yeah, yeah. And it made me run while I went to what I knew. And y'all know what I knew. The Bible. Right. So when he asked me a personal question about God, he, and all he said was, "Tell me about God," and I was like, uh -huh. "Nope, <laughs> okay, Bishop." So I ran from him for two weeks till he caught me. While I was running, I was looking through the Bible trying to get something personal from God. Y'all understand? Yes, sir. I couldn't find it. Yes, ma'am. Bishop, I, I think when you ask that, I think if you're not kind of afraid of that answer, yeah. you're not really I don't mm -hmm. want to say seeking him or I don't right. know what mm -hmm. the word yeah, is, yeah, but, yeah. but if you're not afraid of that question, yeah. the answer to that question it's, is it's, don't answer that so quick. Don't yeah. be so quick to want to jump on that. Right, right, right. Answer. Right. Because the answer you give is probably going to be wrong. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. and you know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's that's where the Holy Spirit within us. Mm -hmm. Is trying us, mm -hmm. is growing us, is building us up in our inner man, is letting us know you thought you needed him yesterday, mm -hmm. but I'm <laughs> going to tell you about what you need. Right, 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 right. 
Amen. And if I may, um, th that, um, what you just said is so true. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Tommy you know, got some very unpleasant news, mm -hmm. and she was really upset about it. So I just told her, I said, well, you know what to do, and you know who to go to. So um, she seemed to be fine with it. I didn't talk to her anymore yesterday afternoon, but I talked to God. Mm -hmm. This morning when I get up before my feet hit the floor, I was praying and asking God to work the situation out. She called me about 11 o'clock today. It's the Lord God. That's because what you said, we have a connection mm -hmm. with God. And the Holy Spirit teaches us what we should say mm -hmm. as we pray to God. And what she has to understand is she is at a critical point in her life. Yes, she is. Where, um, and, and, and thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, she's at a critical point in her life where she has to make a decision. And, um, but the decision she has to make, she has to understand, God made her who she is. Mm -hmm. She does not have to change that, but she has to make the right decision to where she goes. So her fear is that she has to change. Mm, it is. That's the fear. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have to. God made her just as she is. She could still make the decision and still remain who she is. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't understand that from looking at her God brother, mm -hmm. I'm the same dude that was, was 12 years old in your college group. I'm the same dude. Now tell me if I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the same, I just make different decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm the same dude. I'm the same guy. Um, you know, same one. And, she, and, 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 and I think yeah. she needs to understand that just like she went to you and she used to aggravate you, yeah, you still take her by the hand, right? Take her mouth. She can come to you now. I still did it then and will still do it and now. I don't think that she realized, I think she thinks that because of your standing, yeah, now, yeah, you know, she can't come to you. Oh, the boy, and, and you know what? She got a she got a big awakening coming her way. Um. So, um, so I just dropped some prophecy there. I know what her fear is, and mm -hmm. here's the thing: God ain't tempting her; Satan is. Mm -hmm. But what God is doing is testing her, mm -hmm. and what's laid before her, He's watching to see what she does. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, tell her, don't be afraid to be Tommy. Don't be scared of that. That's who he is. And it's Tomula that's going to bring the others along with her. Amen. If she changes, they ain't coming. Amen. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. So, um, Deacon Ball at the gas station in Waldo saw Junior. I hate to say that word. <laughs> but it was a different dude mm -hmm. that made different decisions. But he saw that. And I did, this is his words, not mine. And I ain't lying on him because he's sitting right here. He said, I want that. I wasn't holy. I wasn't this and that. Talk to him like I talked to him all the time, like we was in Florida. Mm -hmm. Talk to him the same way. Um, and I still talk to him that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was good to him then, but when he messed up, I got on him. I still do it now. Yes, sir. That's who I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So um, when you love somebody, that's what you do. What you so um, yeah, she need to make that move and come on and talk to brother when she need to. Because I'm told, and, and I told her, I said, I need to talk to you. And she run. Every time. And I know that. Mm -hmm. But she don't even know what I'm going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she be like, okay, uh -huh. but this your dip. You know what I'm saying? I know, see, I, I understand. You don't, don't think I don't know. I do. I do know. But even with me knowing, I don't know everything. All right. Y'all understand? Okay, yes, sir. So, um, 
when 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 we when we talk about God is everywhere, um, He's still in His creation. Here is the outer parts of the universe, His creation. Is the outer parts beyond our comprehension of knowledge of and, and depth of space beyond that? Is that God's creation? Yes. 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 So is He present there? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. As well as in your yes. bed. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Now you tell me you can do that. Oh, oh no. We <laughs> were talking about after the eclipse, you know, last week. Yeah. We live in outer space. Nobody really gets yes, that, that yeah. or can phantom that in right. their mind. We actually live we're in outer space, space like everything else lives in outer space. We are in outer, outer space. space, yes. And to think that when you look around you, you look around. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we are because there's some world something's holding yes. me up, and it's just turning all the time. Around, yeah. all my buddy, this time all over around. here, this time over here. My buddy, Dr. Time. Fairless, said, Guess where I was during the eclipse? And he put a, a, a snoring emoji. Lady <laughs> <laughs> Nixon, where was I during the eclipse? Snoring. Snoring. <laughs> and you know what? Um, and I looked out the window and I was like, it's a storm coming. This is what I said, did I not? I said, it's, it's dark and there's a storm coming. Then it dawned on me, it was the eclipse out there. And I didn't go run outside. But now we got some people who was trying to figure out what the eclipse means. And I'm like, I don't know what it means. All it means is the, 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 the sun and the moon here. Uh, the star got in the way of it and, it and all it did was show God's creation yes that's real is what it showed but why am I trying to figure out what it means it don't mean nothing and people were so beside themselves and I, I was explaining this to my sister it's because the glory of God yes. is at work yes. the guy he worked with at the NABC mm -hmm. he lives here in Gainesville he flew to Texas mm -hmm. Just to see these Why? Just to see these clips. I could have watched that on the news. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. You could have given me that money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. I could have watched that on the news, but I was sitting up there now. I was like, I, I took a nap, man. I was like, okay, I didn't go outside. I've seen these clips before. Have you all seen these clips before? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. I don't need to go see another one. I, that was just me. I mean, it would be a beautiful thing to see yeah, yeah. if I was outside, but I'm not going out there. Just to I see didn't go out just to see that. To see it when we went out, um, it was kind of warm up, and it was during that time. So we did have the glasses, and the kids were in the car, so we, uh, you know, was in a position where we could look up and see it perfectly. Mm -hmm. So that's when we saw it. Mm -hmm. But to make it. all the miration and stuff mm -hmm. about it. I didn't and see it. All I did, did, all I did was saw house. God. Yeah. 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 What, did, what did he say in Romans chapter 1 verse 18, I believe it is, um, that the, the invisible things are will, will be made manifest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Amen. So, God is everywhere. God is not confined to any part of the universe. He's then if, if he was confined if confined to any part of the universe that would make him not all powerful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if you won't confine God to earth. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. God is not confined to any part of the universe. But it's present in all oh, his power at every point in space and every moment in time. My God. Can we say that one more time? Because I think the people in the back row need to hear this. Yes, sir. God is not confined to any part of the universe. But it's present in all his power at every point in space. And every moment in time. Join me, please. Mm. Psalm 139. I'm going to get through these natural attributes today. And we're going to go to the second group of attributes, which is the moral attributes. And we're going to see if we got that. Amen. Amen. Oh, boy. 
Psalm 139, verse 7 through 12. This is one of my all-time favorites. Remember in the, in, the, in the message on Sunday where we talked about Jesus um, met the um, two disciples, Cleopas and his friend, on the road to Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. All of that, that went happen. They walk into Emmaus talking about, man, did you see that? And um, Jesus showed up, right? And Jesus, I, I like how Elder Linden uh, said that. She said that the word reading the word that was powerful. Mm -hmm. That was re that was a good. One. And um, and as uh, he was reading the word, um, he said when he asked him a question, "Did y'all didn't know that? Y'all didn't know that was supposed to happen? It was in the law of Moses, which means it was in the first five books, the Pentateuch." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, and in the prophets. So it was it was written through all the prophecies. They love Isaiah. All right. And he said, and the Psalms. That, that was the Bible then. Amen. Did y'all know that? Y'all been reading it every week. <laughs> and again, this was if, if Reverend said if if Pastor Sutton had asked me a question about God biblically, I could have answered him. But he did. He asked me a question about God personally. He said, tell me about God. And I couldn't do it. I could not tell him. That's the problem with us today. We can answer biblically. Mm -hmm. Because we've read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. But we don't have a personal relationship with God. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's why we can be mediocre with God. We can we can give God less than because it ain't personal. Yeah. I don't know how we figure that's okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. But um, but this is one of my all time favorite. You could read the whole Psalm one thirty nine, but it says seven, so we're gonna be obedient to that. Y'all ready? Seven through twelve. If I go a little little further, that is totally fine. Y'all ready to go? Amen. He says, and this is a psalm of David. This is someone who knew God personally. Amen. He said, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. That's Tommy. <laughs> he said, if I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. Yes. Watch this, y'all. This is what, what David's deep. He said, I can ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Amen. We could go on. Psalm one thirty nine. He's he's like man. I can't go nowhere. You ain't there. You know he's everywhere. All right. Thus God does not belong to any one nation or generation. Mm -hmm. Y'all be on the lookout for Sunday's sermon. I've already read it, and I'm already in awe. Because there's some stuff in that I did not see before. All right? Um, we got it wrong, y'all. He is the God of the whole earth. Yes, amen. Genesis chapter 18, verse 25. And I got 12 minutes. Genesis chapter 18, verse 25. Y'all remember this old Abraham mm -hmm. tried to save Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. He said, surely you wouldn't do such a thing. Mm -hmm. Destroying the righteous along with the wicked. Why would you be treating the righteous and the wicked exactly the same? 
Surely you wouldn't do that. Should not the judge of all the earth do what is right? He's the God of the whole earth. Amen. Y'all remember the um, the wheat and the tares? Mm -hmm. The enemy came in that night and put the weeds in there. Mm. And when it started growing up, it looked like looked like wheat. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you about the church? Hmm. You got them coming up in here. <laughs> and everybody looks the same. Mm -hmm. All of them ain't weak. Amen? Mm -hmm. You got some tabs up in there. God said, let them grow together. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. Because when it comes time to make that bread, them tabs ain't going to be there. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we worried about folks. They re they responsible for themselves. Amen. Amen. So God is everywhere. We're confined to a space. Mm -hmm. And that space is where we are right now. Right? Um, as busy as I am, and I've often said this, man, I wish I was, had a trinity. I could pull a piece of me off and go down to the county meeting and pull a piece of me off to be over there in Alabama with Bishop Quincy while I'm here teaching Bible study. I wish I could do that. But I can't do it. I'm confined to this podium right here, right now. And that's as far as I can go. I want to be over there with Quincy, with Bishop Quincy, but I can't. I want to be over there with Tabula. And let her know, girl, it's going to be all right. But I can't. But you're scared of Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. God is everywhere. And I got nine minutes. God is also eternal. Are we eternal? Mm -hmm. We was born. And um, I was watching Becker last night. And this lady came and said, Tuesday I'm going to die. Becker said, you ain't going to die on Tuesday. Yeah, but I'm dying right now. He said, we all dying right now. <laughs> the moment we are born, we're dying. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. um, eternity refers to God's relation to time. Past, present, and future are known equally to him. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Amen? That's why we study. Past, present. present, and future are known equally mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. Second Peter. Says, Come on, we're going to roll a little young. bit now. We got to roll a little bit. Second Peter. Chapter 3. Verse 8. Second Peter. Second Peter. Second <laughs> Peter. Praise the Lord. Chapter 3, verse 8. God got a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Y'all got it? Amen. But you not you must not forget this one thing, dear friend. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. So y'all listen. Past, present, and future are known equally to him. So, um, and I think it's the Baptist church who has um, gone on to say that um, the seven days was a 24-hour clock in Genesis chapter 1. It's the Baptist Church. That's the only one I've known who says that. So therefore, their argument is that the earth is about 10,000 years old. Okay. Yep. That, they, they, and they will argue you down. Uh, um, with, let, let me clarify. It is mostly Southern Baptist Churches who say that. All right. Those are the ones I've heard say that. Now, maybe more. So they're going by a 24 hour clock. 
That didn't happen until way later when the Romans came up with their calendar. But back then, it wasn't no 24 hour clock. What was it then? I have no idea. But I do know from the first let there be, okay, so let me explain something to y'all. Talk about the eternity of God. God does supernatural things through natural means. Y'all heard me say that before. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. And um, Elder Linden, if you could put that in the comments, what I'm telling you. Uh, God does supernatural things through natural means. So when God said, let there be, that's when it started happening. Mm -hmm. So that let there be could have took thousands or millions of years. Let the earth give forth its seed and, or, 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 you know, whatever. And that's when things started happening. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. That's when it started happening. So, it is, you know, but could God have done that? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. God could, but God does supernatural things through natural means, which is still supernatural within itself because there was nothing even there. Amen? So, for, for something to come from nothing, God had to put something there for it to start happening. Amen, y'all? So y'all remember that. God does supernatural things through natural means. Amen. Let's go to Revelation uh, chapter 1 verse 8. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Amen. Y'all got it? Amen. I don't hear no rustling. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord God. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still to come, the Almighty One. Amen. Now I've said this here before also to you all. When you see the Lord God, who, who is that? That's all three. When you see the Lord, that's Jesus. Right. When you see the Lord God, um, um, Y'all understand. Mm -hmm. um, trying to remember the breakdown. Y'all, y'all forgive me on that. But um, when you see that there's designations where you'll know which one is is in operation. Amen. Amen. And you will see it. The Lord, that's Jesus. Almighty God, that's the Father. You see the Lord God, that's all three. Um, um, the Spirit of the Lord. That's the Holy Ghost. Y'all understand? So there's designations for each one that you will know which one is in action, but they are all God. Yeah, amen. We are not part of the Trinity. So in closing, here we go. The natural attributes of God is God is spirit. God is changeless. God is all powerful. God is all knowing. God is everywhere. And God is eternal. And we have absolutely none of those. Amen. None. So now, let's go to our actions on next week. Let's see how holy we is. Holy we is. 
We're going to go to the moral attributes of God next week. And let's find out where we line up. Because when we come in church and act like we holy over other people, boy, you got a long way to go with your thinking. Amen. Let's see where we stand up to God in, in, in his holiness, in his righteousness. Um, we got a problem with love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We got a problem with truth. Yes, we, do. we don't have really? all wisdom. Uh -huh. You know, we don't have a lot of love in here. How we would love without sex, you know, other people. Well, y'all, you need to listen to Sunday sermon. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Jesus said some stuff in there that kind of rocked me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You do not want to miss Sunday's message. <laughs> I'm still struggling with what to call it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be something that um, lets us know. Uh, we got some work to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, thank y'all for watching us. I'm on time. Um, we'll see y'all Sunday. I'm telling you, it's a word. I'm telling you, it's a word. Deacon Green, who's coming next? From the diaconate ministry. Or whatever. Amen. Y'all, you don't want to miss Sunday. I'm trying to tell y'all. I love y'all. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Don't leave without the blessing of the benediction. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. Praise the Lord. I'm a smiling angel. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word that we received, this lesson that we received. We thank you for the person that was given it, Dear Heavenly Father, so we can just get closer to you and just become more like you. Amen. 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 May the words of my mouth, May the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, meditation of my heart, be acceptable within thy sight, be acceptable within thy sight. Oh Lord, oh Lord, my strength, my strength, and my redeemer, and my redeemer, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.